Hey guys, good morning. Is it morning? No, it's not. Happy Sunday and happy Mother's Day to all the mamas out there. You guys got to see my mama yesterday. Shout out to Mama Daly. Celebrated her birthday yesterday. So I got to see her yesterday, but she is out enjoying her day today. Doing a little bit of shopping at the garden center, hanging out with her hubby, all that good stuff. There's my fur baby though. So yeah, it looks like it's just gonna be me and half today. Everybody else is out doing their thing. So me and half are actually gonna go out and have a happy we're not a Mother's Day. So that is what I'm getting ready for right now. All right, so this is the before. Come back and show you the after. Okay, my makeup is done. It looks so pretty. And my hair, I know this looks like a head wrap, but this is a tube wrap from TonyDaily.com, you guys. I love them for locks, braids, twists, anything like that. Okay, so I'm all dressed for the day and I'm finally gonna be putting my Pandora bracelet back on. I haven't been wearing it for the last little while. Here it is. I'm gonna take some of the charms off though. So I thought, because I get a lot of questions on, you know, what charms I have, I thought I would show you what I got. First is this beautiful pink Murano bead, love it. One of my charms unfortunately broke. This is the one that broke. It's a dangling earth or globe. And um, this was a gift from a secret admirer who says I deserve the world because I do, okay. But it broke unfortunately, so this is not gonna go on my bracelet. This is a dangling martini glass, which was actually, well, it wasn't a direct gift from Gabe, but Gabe did give me a Pandora gift card, and um, I used the gift card to purchase this martini glass. She's like my girl, and you know, girls go out for martinis and cocktails and stuff, so I kind of bought this to represent Gabe. <laughs> this bead is a floral bead. It has like daisies all over it. This was a gift from my sister when I was a bridesmaid in her wedding. All the bridesmaids got this um, Pandora charm. This bad boy is my favorite charm. This was actually the first charm I got with my Pandora bracelet. It was from my trifling ass ex-husband, which is a camera that looks exactly like my first vlogging camera, so I threw it out because fuck him. But then half repurchased it for me, so now I can love and enjoy it again. <laughs> I've got another beautiful Murano bead. This one is in like a purple color. This charm is actually a crown, and it says queen on it. Um, this was from a secret admirer as well and it actually gets hooked in every single piece of clothing I own as well as blankets and comforters and seats and everything so as much as I love it um, This is not going back on my bracelet. This is a little heel a little shoe. This was from my sister. This is another dangle charm. It's a heart and It says sister on the back The back is actually flat. It's a set um so they fit together and my sister actually has the other half. Ah, <sighs> you guys, this charm I'm so conflicted on. It's a squirrel and he represents Daquan. You guys remember Daquan? He was like my best friend <laughs> at my old house when I was going through a tough time and like Daquan would visit me every morning. It was so random. The squirrel would literally come to the window, tap on it and wake me up and just sit there and eat peanuts with me while I ate breakfast. And We're gonna feed Daquan. And this kind of represents him, but the little feet, the little feet get caught in everything and it's so annoying. But I love him. So I know I'm gonna leave him off and think about it. This next charm is uh, the Jamaican flag in the shape of a heart because I love Jamaica. And it literally says, I love Jamaica on the back, and I am Jamaican. And this was a gift from my girl, QO Chemist, who is a longtime vlogger friend, and I've met many times in real life, and I love her. She's like a sister. Next is actually a broken charm. Part of the charm is missing. This was uh, the Toronto skyline, and it said Toronto on it. It's from my longtime vlogger friend. It's Lori's Life, and she's a fellow Pandora head as well, but unfortunately it broke, so I'm gonna have to get that repaired. This adorable little one is 
Um, I guess it's, yeah, it's a honeycomb and it's got a couple of little bees on it, bumblebees, because I'm a member of the beehive. So this was actually a gift. I think it was a Christmas gift a couple of years back from Keisha and Half. It was a joint gift from them back in the day. And my newest addition, you guys, my Mother's Day gift. Ooh, I received this today from Keisha. It is a heart with a little crystal paw print on it. And it says, for mama, oh my goodness. Then I've got these two clips just to keep the, um, the charms separated in certain spots. So I'm going to add these. Ta-da! I managed to get it on all by myself, even with my nails. And yeah, I'm happy with how everything looks. We are on our way to High Park, guys, which is um, a park basically in the west, central, central west yeah. um, area of Toronto. And we're going to see the cherry blossom trees. <laughs> yeah, that's what they're called, right? They're actually called Sakura trees. But um, the cherry blossoms, they bloom annually, so once a year and Torontonians are always very, very excited to go see these trees bloom because um, I think that Canadian climate is actually the coldest climate that the trees can handle. So it's like, it's more treasured, like more rare for us, right? So anyways, all that to say, we're gonna go see the cherry blossoms, guys. Very excited. So we're headed to High Park. I have not been there in years. I think there's also a zoo in High Park. Yes. So it's kind of like our equivalent of Central Park, like the, you know, the infamous New York Central, it's called Central Park, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of like the equivalent of Central Park, so. I don't think I've ever taken you guys there, and I love taking you guys to different areas of Toronto. It doesn't happen too often, because y'all know I'm a busy girl, but today, today for a happy I'm not a mother's day <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna go explore <laughs> Hey guys, I got my AC blast in, hold on. Um, hello, beautiful people of YouTube land. Today is Friday the 13th. Okay, happy Friday and happy lucky Friday. I always think Friday the 13th are lucky. I'm super tired today. You can see these bags under my eyes. Yesterday was the first day that felt like summer. Like it was hot, it was sunny, it was beautiful. So me and the girls played hooky. <laughs> Um, me, Keisha, Charm, Half, um, as we all played hooky, took the day off work and went to the park, got drinks, got some good food, we walked around downtown, 
and we had a great time so i got home late super late last night and i'm exhausted but this little girl has a podicure appointment can you guys see i'm right outside PetSmart. she's getting her nails done today right mar she's getting her nails done today she doesn't have an appointment for grooming normally when she gets groomed she takes like they take like an hour and a half to two hours to groom her so i can go back home work chill but i don't know how long the pedicure will take um basically they just do a nail grind um clean her pads and shave her the fur on her feet she's got like little grinch feet show them your grinch feet got little grinch feet um so yeah we're about to go get that done y'all tie red tie red you ready mara i was thinking though the next time i get her groomed she's got a cyst growing on her on the top of her head Let's see if i can show you guys really show them your cyst see it's right there doesn't hurt her but I don't want them to shave her head in case they accidentally clip it so next time she gets groomed I was thinking of doing a lion cut Why oh, you want to look like a lion we can leave your head and your beautiful mane shave her body down leave her tail I think that'll be hilarious I'm just gonna laugh at you cuz you're gonna look so cute oh my goodness all right here we go come on my going to pet smart your least favorite place? Actually, maybe second least. Her least favorite place is definitely the vet. Come on, girl. Who's all done and who's got a new little pep in her step? Okay, she traded in her stilettos for some kitten heels. She's stepping pretty now, girl. We're home. I picked something up for Marley. Something that she's never tried before. This, this is a meal topper. So essentially, it's like a supplement. You just sprinkle some on top of their food, their kibble, whatever it is you're feeding them. They had several different kinds, one for gut health, um, one for skin and coat, and one for joint health. And I've noticed that Marley now limps quite a bit when she just wakes up in the morning. You know, she's an old girl. She's 14. So I thought I would... Um, try this in her food and see you know if it helps or if she even likes it she's pretty picky so i'm not even sure she'll like it but we'll give it a try tonight all right i am editing tomorrow's vlog and then i made some chili on wednesday i'm actually going to turn that into nachos tonight so I'm trying to hurry up and edit so i can <laughs> so i can go start cooking because i'm hungry girl Thank you. 